Uh, this week, IANA is allocating the last block of IPv4 addresses to the regional internet registries uh, that will exhaust their pool of IPv4 addresses. The registries, in turn, are going to use their internal set of policies to allocate those addresses to the service providers and the enterprises in their region. Um, after that, there will be no more IPv4 addresses available in those pools. It means that service providers and enterprise will have to find other ways to get new addresses or leverage a pool of addresses they already have better. And better may be having an uh, outlook at their addressing plan and try to find um, some addresses they can reclaim in there or sharing those addresses among their many customers. This is certainly an inflection point in the history of the Internet. The way we will grow the Internet tomorrow is going to be different. Uh, this is certainly not the end of the Internet. The sky is not falling. This is simply an evolution point. The address exhaustion is impacting the entire planet at the same time. Each of the registries have its own different policies to allocate the l remaining addresses that they have May, some may run out in three months, some may run out in six months, but overall everybody is sharing the same pain and will essentially apply the same technology and move at the same pace. Okay. Next, service providers and enterprises are going to look at their own addressing plan, as I mentioned earlier, trying to figure out if they can get better efficiencies and try to share those addresses among many customers. The technology to do that is called NAT, for Network Address Translation, to take one address and use it for multiple customers. This is a technology that has been around for many years and it is already deployed in almost every single household. The home gateway in a home is doing this functionality. The cell phones are all connected to the internet using uh, this NAT technology and this is going to be now deployed at a larger scale. At the same time that this is happening, IPv6 is now being introduced into the network. The transition to, uh, from IPv4 to IPv6 is going to take multiple years. We are talking about five or ten years and maybe more. The reason for that is that we have two long tail that need to be addressed. The first one is the long tail of the content available on the internet. The second one is the long tail of the applications and devices that are in the home or in the enterprise network. Uh, different service providers are, d are different uh, point right now on IPv6 deployment. Some of them have already IPv6 available. Uh, I've seen some of the wireless provider deploying LTE technology offering IPv4 and IPv6 on their devices. Some of them are experimenting and are in trials to offer this technology. Some of them are just at the starting point of their reflection.